Hey, what's up guys, Second Cooper over here back again with some more Cooper's Mind in Minecraft. Oh yeah, so we left off. We explored an ancient city, killed a few wardens, and generated more things with a pedestal's material generators. Between episodes, I did a little bit of preparing for this episode. First things first, I want to see if I can get a weather cage going. Uh, I should probably, I should actually also get the, uh, get the things I need in order to summon a wither. So give me this, please. So I want I want to make a wither cage. Uh, I I mean I know I know it seems a little early to be making a wither cage, but uh, I mean I uh, I told you guys that I'd be I'd be playing this uh, I'd be playing this uh, series a bit faster than I did the one sixteen series. So yeah, first things first, angel block. So that way I can uh, I can get my uh, that way I can get uh, some. Uh, we can get some glass up here. I can't get up here. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. One. Come on, give me dirt. Let's do this really quickly, so I can actually get up here. There you go. Angel block. All right, and now I just need to get some uh, dark glass down. So I want to do a five by five of the, I want to do a five by five external so that one two three four five one two three four five uh, let's get my building gadget here we go all right mm. unfortunately this does break connected textures so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to do this in order to reset it. Man, connected textures are broken. Yeah, maybe just one second while I fix this. This is oh my god. All right, we got a box, and it, it and I it, honestly, this stuff. Oh my god, this is really it, this is really see through. I cannot see, I cannot see where the where it begins. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so I also made a mob crusher, and I have a bottle with a sheep in it. So my so my thinking is my thinking is I want to summon the wither, then put the sheep in here, and then uh, and then once the wither explodes, the sheep will die. It'll give me a wither rose, and then I can just put the mob crusher down and just uh, have the wither be killed immediately. So. That's my uh, that's my idea. So, how about we go ahead and do the mob crusher? Like, let's do it here now. Um, let's also put it on run on redstone, and then and then just just so I don't have to deal with the uh, with the essence, I, I can I could just do this. Either that, or I can or I can extract all the essence and put it in my experience obelisk. Oh wait! Oh man! Hold on. You're kidding. There's more, there's more, uh, uh, there's more, there's more connected textures that I need to fix. Hang on. All right, uh, now that I'm not distracted, um, let's go ahead and put a flux point here. Let's see. Uh, cr uh, mob crusher. Crusher. There you go. So that has power. Now, Let's uh, get in there and uh, let's get in there uh, and summon a wither. Figure, I figure, it might, I figure it's time. I figure it's time to put a wither in. Um, let's see. Yeah, this should be plenty of space in order to in order for a wither to like not be able to get out. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I think I think this should work. Um, Let's get my uh, let's get my sheep at the ready. Probably also the tinted glass. Just do that here. Hmm. There you go. Um. Okay, let's get down here just in case. Did it get out? Oh, it blew up my, uh... Uh-oh. 
that's not good. That's not good. It blew up my mob crusher. Okay, update to the box. I made it bigger because I remembered that withers have trouble in a three by three by three internal box. So it is now a five by five internal box. So, boom. So we should be, we should be fine. Just wait for the wither to explode. And then, yep, he's trapped and he's killed. There we go. I cannot believe it took me that long to remember that it had to be a 7x7 seven seven box. But there's another star. Unfortunately, no heart, which means I'm going to have to hand kill the wither. Oh wait, actually actually I have a bunch of uh, I have a bunch of wardens. I have a bunch of blue hearts. Never mind. That should be fine. Um I should be fine with I should be fine with the blue hearts. Uh Oh my god. All right. Well, um maybe also just give me a second. I need to fix the connected textures stuff on the bottom here. Okay, I think I fixed the box. So, we should be good to go in terms of that. Uh now. Let's see if I can make an angel ring. I'm pretty sure I can. I think I just need a couple of things. Let's see. Angel ring. Yeah, we just need two semi-stable ingots. These do not stack. You can put them in here. All right, angel ring. Easy. Love it. Uh, so ring. So now. Heck yeah, create a flight, love it. And actually, and actually, the angel ring from Mini Utilities is a lot cheaper than the angel ring from the aptly named Angel Ring mod. So yeah, that's also part of the reason that I wanted to swap to using uh, Mini Utilities instead of the uh, Angel Ring mod. All right, uh, now might be a good time to try to find the end portal and uh, and the closest stronghold. So let's uh, get some blaze. Might want to get a couple more. I need two of these, don't I? Yep. This should be enough ender pearls. I hope. I hope it's enough ender pearls. If it's if it's not, then egg on my face. All right, let's see. And oh, oh my god, I have so many of these. What the heck? That is a lot, but uh Who knows? I may need this many in order to get to the uh, in order to get to the stronghold. So yeah. Um but we go ahead and rain ring go away. And let's uh let's see let's see where let's see where this takes me. Where? That way. All right, uh, I'll be right back. So there is a shipwreck right there. I found a, I found this uh, buried treasure map. It's, so there's a chest somewhere around here, right? There it is. Ooh, there's a heart of a sea in here. And a lot of emeralds, I like that. All right, give me that chest. And let's... Okay, uh... Fairy treasure map, you can go away. I don't need you anymore. That is... Okay, that was just a living fish. Alright, uh, back to looking for the stronghold. It just went backward. I think we're... I think we're right above it. Let's go. Um... Okay, hold on. Uh, enable that. Disable this. Okay, let's just be careful. Hold on. Come on. Let's see. Oh! Oh no. That's a oh boy. That's a lot of things. Um Hold on. Are we right here? Where is this? See, I I knew it was here. Uh so the so the weird thing is there there's like this whole big block of deep slate covering the stronghold for some reason. Why doesn't it just generate... Eh, you know what, whatever. Whatever. Um, now comes the tricky part. Where in the world is the strong? Uh, is the uh, end portal? Why is it just a random button here? 
There's a door? Where's this door? Hold on. Hold on a second. What? What? Why is there a door hidden behind this? That's weird. I've never seen that before. Okay, so there was a piece of crying obsidian out here, uh, and I figured there must have been an apotheosis spawner, and sure enough, there was. I'm gonna go ahead and silk touch this. That's gonna be my first uh, spawner. That's gonna be my first spawner from apotheosis. So you can silk touch stuff with, uh, um, you can silk touch a spawner to get the spawner, and then you can modify it later. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, and there's, oh. Hmm. Okay. Got, got some good stuff in here. That's pretty good. There it is. After a long time searching, finally found the portal. Now let's silk touch. Let's silk touch the silverfish spawner ASAP, just so I don't have to deal with the silverfish, and also so I can just uh, reuse that spawner whenever I uh, need a spawner. So yeah. Okay, looks like ten eyes vendor, but. First, this. Second, uh, I need a matter transmitter, or well, a matter receiver, I should say. So I need a matter receiver before I can, uh, before I, you know, before I want to do this. So I should get a matter receiver and come and come back. So in order to do that, warp scroll. So let's uh, inscribe here, and then I can use the warp scroll to get back. So, boom. Now let's make a let's make a matter receiver. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have a matter receiver. Now let's use the warp scroll to get back. Unfortunately, it consumes the warp scroll, but uh, it works. So, all right, let's do that. Uh, and receiver. Uh, end portal. Perfect. Now I can come back here without needing to use a warp scroll every time. How do you how do you make these anyway? Okay, so four lapis, four source gems, and a blank parchment, which requires mage bloom fibers around paper. There's also a stabilized warp scroll. I don't know what this is. But first, again, I'm forgetting things. Let's get some bottles. Uh, let's see. Bottle. I want to get... I want to get two stacks of bottles. One, uh, one, uh, one stack will be Dragon's Breath. One step will be Ender Air. I, uh, I never use the Ender Air, but I'm getting, I'm getting Ender Air just in case, because you never know, you never know when I'm gonna want to use it. I'm also holding these Angel Heart vials, which I found as loot in some of the chests here. These resurrect you once, then they break. So if I happen to die while I'm out there. I can use I can use an angel heart vial to keep myself away uh, keep myself alive. It's basically like a totem of an undying, but uh, you know. All right, let's open the portal. Mm. Love uh, love the activation. Love the activation noises. Let's do it. The end. All right. Uh oh, got. End gobber ore. I like that. Precision mode true. I should probably have silk touch on. Yeah, the uh, the end gobber ore is actually going to be pretty useful. I also have I also have end stone in infinite amounts, but I will as soon as I get a purple block as well. So maybe just be careful. Don't look at. Okay. Uh, I could use an Ender Pearl. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can provoke the dragon. Oh boy. Never mind. Uh, you need a mint. Hey. Hey. Did I look at you? I don't think I did. Okay, that's a little rude. Okay, so I've collected a stack of both Dragon's Breath and Ender Air. Now, I wanna see if I can find an end city because I need a couple of dragon's heads in order to get to level 100 in Apotheosis. So let's go just north, for example. 
Actually, hang on. Maybe there's a better way to figure out uh, which way I should go. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna vibe it. Just you know, give me a second. All right, you know what? Let's go this way. It's gonna be a bit of flying though, so uh, I'll be right back. Quark adds world gen to the end. That's odd. And there's a city. Oh, and there's a ship. Oh, that's perfect. All right. I love that. Love that for me. Let's get a couple of coarse flowers just so I can uh, just so I can grow some coarse fruit uh, back at home. But let's also let's also just go ahead. Give me some of the coarse fruit. It'll it'll be nice to have uh, it'll be nice to have this. I do really I do really like uh, the coarse fruit just growing in the end. It's nice. All right, what do we got over here? I mean, obviously we got the ship, which means we have a dragon head. I think I'm I think I'm gonna need two of these in order to in order to get to level hundred. But yeah, I mean, if I do, that's gonna oh, oh boy, that's not gonna be fun. But you know, it's fine. Instant health. Okay, I can do that. Hey there, Shulker. Oh no. Yeah, luckily, uh, luckily I can't uh, can't get killed by fall damage. So uh, yeah. What do we got in here? Unbreaking. Okay. More unbreaking. Again, that's pretty good. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, so do that for the do that for the achievement. What is this? Oh, it's an Ars Nouveau. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Plus one level to all existing enchants. I like that. That's a that's a good gem, actually. All right. Uh, maybe just give me a second. I'm gonna go see what all uh, what else I can find. An apotheosis boss just spawned down there, but that is not an Enderman. Is that a? What is that? Is that a phantom? I think that's a phantom. But I kind of don't want to fight an apotheosis boss. I'm not geared up for that. All right, second dragon head. That's perfect. So uh, now we just need to. Uh, I just need to get home, and uh, yeah, now we uh, now we can get to, now we can get to a pretty high enchanting level. As long, uh, as long as these shulkers don't uh, don't make it more difficult. Go away. Hmm. Okay, I should probably disenchant some of this stuff, and also some of the stuff that I came home with from the uh, from the uh, the <laughs> from the uh, stronghold. But you know. All right, uh, I'll be right back as soon as I uh, as soon as I return home. All right, I'm home. Now I just need to uh, go through all of the stuff in my backpack, and uh, yeah. Wait. Okay, so I need to go through all the stuff in my backpack. Then I need to. And you find all my enchanted items, run them through the, uh, run them through the disenchanter, and uh, yeah, that's it's a whole process. Oh, this can go in my, oh, hmm. okay, this can be disenchanted. I'll be right back. Okay, so my backpack is empty. I just made a perp. Oh, I just made four purple blocks. So now I can generate endstone to my heart's content using this. Boom, easy peasy, love it a lot. There we go. And I think I need, I think I need endstone anyway. So it was a good thing that I did that. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the bookshelves. All right, let's see, at a puff uh, shelf. So we want, uh, we want two of these draconic end shelves, which needs regular end shelves, which requires infused dragon's breath which is the whole reason we went to the end in the first place. And then we're gonna need any kind of bookshelf, any kind of wood bookshelf. So theoretically, I could just pick these up. Um, well, actually, no, I need these here in order to get to level, uh, in order to get to level 40, so. I think, um, I think it might be time to just like, 
gonna ditch all of this and then see let's see what I can do to make my uh, enchanting setup better. For one thing, I am gonna need, let's see, rectification. I am gonna want the end fuse rectification. Okay, so that just needs purper blocks. Uh, I'm gonna need four of these ultimately. So then we're gonna need Hellbound, which needs Gilded Blackstone, which you can craft, by the way, with lava, two gold nuggets, and blackstone, which you can do by haunting cobble, which is nice. Um, or you can do 100 mil buckets of gold into this. Nah. All right, then Seabound Rectification needs Honeycomb Block and Infused Seashelves, which, um, yeah, so we need seashelves. Fun, which means we're going to need a lot of Prismarine. Maybe it might be time to go look for Guardians. Yeah, it might be time to go look for Guardians because uh, we are going to need that. We are going to need a lot of Prismarine. So maybe I should go. Maybe I should go uh, Guardian hunting, and I'll be right back. Oh, conveniently, I happen to find some bees. I need. Uh, where's your nest? Where are your nest, bees? Yeah, where's your nest? Like, can I, uh... Well, I, I, hang on, hang on. I need, I actually do need you. Um, Can I make a golden lasso? Just give me four of these and let's, uh... Well, no, how about three of them? And let's see, let's just... I'm gonna see if uh, I'm gonna see if shrinking the bees is a bad idea because if I attack them, then all of them nearby will come and sting me, which would not be good. Where'd those bees go, by the way? Are they here? Here's one. You have pollen. Um, come here. Okay, you're tiny now. Get back here, bee. Gotcha. All right, so that's one. Come back here. Bee, get back here. There we go. Last B. Okay, there's one hanging out over the. Uh... Okay. No, that's not what I want. There we go. There's also a parrot just hanging out around here. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing just hanging out over the water? Hang on, let me help you. Let me help you, Parrot. There you go. Yeah, so it just seems like these bees just are just wandering around. They don't seem to have a nest. Uh, hold on, beehive? Oh, we need honeycombs for that. Oh man, that means I need to find a hive. That's not good. All right, uh, give me just a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, look for guardians and probably also a beehive or bee nest. If I can find a bee nest, that'd be great. Okay, I found an ocean monument. Uh, this will be the home of the uh, guardians, and also I won't be able to mine while I'm around here. So yeah, maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should just farm a bit for prismarine, or just pick up the prismarine that's around here and I'll be right back. Well, this is new. I have a drowned throwing tritons at me. Ow! Give me your trident. And you did not give me your trident. That is very rude. Well, we'll have a next. Be sure to tune in to the next episode of Kirby's Modern Minecraft.